James Braga here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little unboxing of the Netgear Nighthawk X4S. But you're probably saying to me that's the X4 box in front of you. Well, that's because I actually have the X4. The X4 is a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor. You know, it pretty much has a lot of options that you're looking for. But I figured I'd keep it around so you guys can get a few little comparisons like the processor differences in the X4S compared to the X4. But first, let's get the X4S out here for you. As you can see, this is the X4S. The box is completely different. You can see the purple in the back. You know, it, it is different. This is considered a quad stream X4S architecture for advanced gaming and streaming. Now the process difference is this is a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor compared to the 1.4 gigahertz in the back. Now this also has 1600 megahertz in Mu, MIMO, um, and quad streaming with Wave 2 Wi-Fi architecture. But we'll get more into that into later on in the view. I will clip to like some comparisons between them and I will talk to a bit about it. First, let's pop it open over here. Over here it says package contents. You know, you get the Nighthawk router itself. You get Ethernet cable, the quick start guide, power adapter, plus the four antennas. Technical specifications, you know, the AC2600, you know, is 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, it supports up to, I believe it's, I believe it says... 1733 megabytes per second, 5 gigahertz. You know, we'll get more into that also in a while because you know, I don't want to bore you right yet. On the back, gives you a list of, uh, you know, like the extreme Wi Fi speed for gaming's up to 2.53 gigabytes per second, dual core 1.7, you know, processor boost. It gives you white, uh, Wayne and Lane preferences, 160 megahertz for faster online gaming. You know, and other, other options, which I will get into that. It's also got mobile options. I'll get more into that as we go into the review itself. First, let's pop it open. set the box in the back for you we'll set this down you know you get you know your little booklets of how to connect your home you know it shows you everything you know most stuff that you can connect to your house through this quick start guide tells you how to hook it up what antenna to screw where I will get into that you know all your Ethernet ports power ports power buttons USBs, you know, you got a couple US ports on the sides. You also got an eSATA port, your LEDs. You know, it tells you all about that. Your quick start guide, you know, your username and passwords. It's usually the same stuff, but you always change it. Let's pull all this out. Set the box aside. You know, you got your four antennas. We will, you know, just rip those out. On the last model, they all came with a yellow tag on them. So you knew what was what. These all, this actually has labels, and I will get to that in a second. We don't need those. You know, your power plug. Your Ethernet cord, if you're going to use this, I make my own. I actually have a big box and I go uh, make my own so I don't need this. And then you have the router itself. Router itself does have, you know, plastic on it so it keeps it from being scuffed up. We'll pull that off if it comes off.
Let me switch, uh, pause for a second, get this set up, and I'll show you guys how to hook the antennas up and everything. Okay, before I hook it up, let's pop it up here. You'll see that you have your power lights, your internet lights, your 2.4 gigahertz lights, you know, so on, all the way down. On the side, you have two USB 3.1, 3 points, I believe these are. You have antenna 2, which is marked. Before, they weren't really marked. You have antenna 1 and antenna 1. You have your power button. You have your power plug. Your ethernet in. That So you have the ethernet, internet into here. And then your ethernet's out. LED on and off switch. And then you have a reset. And then on this side you have antenna 3 and your eSATA. Now, installing the antennas is rather easy. I mean you just... Let me make sure you guys can see this real quick. You see the, the gold screw, pretty much all you do is, you know, screw it on like a coax cable. And then you can adjust it to any position you really want. You know, same with the back. This one's antenna 2 and this antenna, antenna is marked antenna 2. So you go to the opposite side. You know, same thing, tighten it up, and you're good to go. Now, antenna one is the same, it's marked antenna one. Hopefully, we can get it to screw on without issues. We'll try the other one. All right, other one screws right on. And you're good to go. And that's how you hook up the antennas. You know, pretty much the rest is plug and play. I will, you know, do another video of how you install the software and uh, link it all up. So I uh, thank you for uh, checking out my unboxing. Um, in a few minutes, I'm going to switch over to another logo and do some comparisons for you so you guys get a comparison of what these two differences are in the X4 and the X4S so you know what you expect to be paying for so if you give me a second I'll switch over for that now between the R7800 and the R7500 there's a, a, a noticeable difference and that's in the 2.53 gigabyte per second speed compared to the 2.33 gigabyte per second speed that you get from the R7500 I mean, they're both for very large homes. They both have the 802.11 you know, ACs. They both have, you know, five, you know, uh, gigabyte Ethernet ports, the 10, the 100, and the 1000. You also have the one lane and the four lanes. You, both of them also have two 3.0 USB ports. Now, the 7800 and the 7500 have a few differences. But first, they both have on and off LED light switches. They both support IPv6 uh, protocols. They both have the ReadyShare USB share uh, that, that you can hack your hard drive or printer through. Um, they both have beaming technology. They're um, both high, four high performance antennas. They both have the twin USB 3.0 and the eSATA ports. They both have dynamic QoS bandwidths, which is pretty good. The noticeable difference is, like I said, between the the the, the core processors. One, the 7500 has a 1.4 dual gig or, or dual core processor, and the 7800 has a, a 1.7 gigahertz processor. Now they both have 128 megabyte of flash, but the difference is, is the 7800 has 512 megabytes of RAM compared to the 7500's 256 megabytes of RAM. Now you also have the smart connect intel uh, intel intelligently selects the fastest Wi-Fi uh, for your devices. I believe the 7800 does it better and it has a little, little few more uh, extra tweaks in it. Um, they both have, you know, they both can do a lot of stuff. The di another difference is the 4x4 11 AC at 800 megahertz plus the 2x2 two two, it's 160 by 80 plus 80 megahertz 
You also have the 7800 has the simultaneously dual band Wi-Fi, the TX RX 4x4 at the 2.4 gigahertz, and then it has also the 4x4 at 5 gigahertz. Now let me switch views for a second, and I'll talk a little more about the mobile stuff that it can do. Okay, let's talk about the gaming technology that it has in it. It has extreme Wi-Fi speeds for gaming up to 2.5, you know, 3 gigabytes per second. It has the dual core processor, which we've already talked about. The QoS, which is for lag-free tech, uh, lag-free gaming and streaming. It has the, you know, extreme Wi-Fi, the beaming technology, and open source, which you can go to my open router or something like that, I believe it is. You also have the streaming technology, which is, you know, the 2.53 gigabyte Wi-Fi speed, which delivers multiple HD videos with ease. You have the quad stream wave 2 Wi-Fi technology, you know, you can enjoy the um, your content without problems. You also have uh, the 1600 megahertz for smoother streaming of 4K content. The, you know, the QoS, like I've talked, the, sh the Ready Share Vault for your PC software to automatically back up your backups your to USB hard drive connects and routers. You also have the Connect 3.0's devices and all that and you, you can find your media. You also have the MIMO which gives you faster speeds with simultaneously streaming data. But then you also have the mobile section which is the 1600 megahertz support for double, ba double the bandwidth. You have the quad stream X4 architecture dramatically increasing Wi-Fi range. Which you guys can see all these specs on the back of the box. I mean, it is packed full of stuff. You have the turbo transfer allows sharing between files between PC, Mac, or Android devices. You also have the Netgear Genie, which makes connecting your printers and all that other stuff pretty easy. Okay, now that I've walked you through some of the stuff that it can do, you know, I will be doing a full written review of this. I will be doing a couple more videos like the install the software so you guys can see what some of the software does. I will be showing some of the transfer rates, um, the difference, you know, from the AC2600, the 57, or the 7800 model to the 7500 model. You know, I appreciate you guys checking out my unboxing. Keep your eye out for the written review on dragonblogger.com. Thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.